Hi, it's Leanne from Nurture Weight Loss. How are you going? This is week three, so our third workout. Yes, yeah? so you've been doing your workouts over the week, hopefully at least two or three times a week, um, and having your rest days and doing your walking. So we're obviously, uh, each week we're tweaking it a little bit to get you stronger, um, challenge your body a little bit more, and give you um, a boost in energy, a boost in metabolism, enhance weight loss, give you more energy, if I haven't said that already. Um, yeah, so it's quite important to just keep tweaking it. You will need a step up today. So if, you've, if you're out, out somewhere outside with a step up, that's wonderful. Um, mountain climbers, you, you can use a coffee table or a dining table. So it's a little bit harder this week, but we're going a little bit wider on the squats as well. So again, if we need to modify, let's talk and work out what your modification is if you don't um, like something. Or if you've got no step, you can do knee lifts. Yeah, go back to that. All right, so we've got sumo. Sumo squats are wide. So we're working a lot more deeper, so you will feel this. So again, you've got probably 10 or 12. Over the week, because you've been doing squats for the now the last two weeks, you should be able to extend these workouts to about the 15 rep mark, yeah? So it's not as easy uh, as, it's, as you're getting stronger. Of course, it's not going to be as easy. You're going to be able to do more, yeah? All right, so again, I've lost counts. So 8, 9, 10... Say, I'll give you 12, 11 just in case. 12. Now, slow mountain climbers are like a full plank, right? So, if you've got a coffee table, this is what it would look like, or a dining table is fine too. You're on your toes and you're coming across under your body, tapping across. Yeah? That's what it looks like. We've done them before. If you've worked with me before, you would have done these before. So, you're coming across your body, yeah? So, you're probably aiming for about six on each leg, so counting to 12. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you're still taking the body weight, yeah? And you can do that lower on the ground if you wish. You can do that on the, on the mat. It doesn't have to be, obviously, up high, but it, it is a little bit easier for the modification. Step ups, again, if your knees are a bit unsure, if you're a bit unsure of your knees, choose something quite low or create a low step if you've got one. Four. Five, or you do the knee lifts, yeah? Eight, that's it. So remember to stay upright. Nine, ten. Again, you can probably stretch this one out to 12 to 15 on each side. All right, especially over the week. Even if you start with 10, on the next day you do 12. Yeah? So taking your time. Three. It's all about balance and power. In fact, we rarely do anything fast. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. All right, the last one's a tummy exercise, reverse curl. So what happens is you're lying on your back. You can lift your feet up a little higher. Let's see if we can get you a little bit of a better posse. You can lift a little higher. Or keep your knees tucked close and more of a rocking motion. So I'll show you what that looks like, yeah? So a reverse curl, and you can put your hands under your back as well if you'd like to support your back. So when I say rocking, I mean keep the knees close. I mean just rocking it gently out here. Yeah? Now, if you are strong in the core, you've done this before, you're pushing up. So you're actually lifting your bum up. My neck is on the mat though, I'm relaxed, yeah? My neck is down. So it's four, five, six, not easy. Seven, it's a bit weird at the start. Eight, nine. So if it's something you haven't done before, like I said, just keep it low, keep it close to the chest, and just more, just think of it as a rocking motion where you're just rocking out and taking the legs out a little bit. So you're using the tummy, yeah? So let me know if you've got any weak pelvic floors or lower back problems or anything where we need to modify. So. If that is an issue, go back to the hip lifts. Remember in the first workout where we did the hip lifts, right? Which was this one. So if the rocking and the, the pelvic, the yeah, if the reverse curl doesn't suit you, go back to the hip lifts, right? It's a very safe, kind exercise to do, yeah? So that is our week three. And I will see you in week four. We're nearly done about 30 days. And I hope you are feeling amazing and that it's, it's doing the treat that it's, that it's supposed to do. If you do the work, right? If you're doing the work. All right, I will talk to you soon. Bye.